Hey traders, this is Jeff from ZenTrader.ca with a quick update. I uh, just want to get some charts here. Uh, just kind of want to talk about what the market's been doing, uh, where it could be heading. You know, I got some sentiment charts here, NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow. So let's just get right in it. And this is just a way for me also to organize my thoughts. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that we're close to short-term bottom and First, let's define the short-term bottom. At least for me, I think it's true. I think we, we, we may get a bounce, um, but I think that that bounce is just going to lead to more selling. I don't think I don't think it's a tradable bottom, in, in my opinion. Uh, like I'm not looking to to buy stocks long. I'm looking to just continue to hold my shorts and then potentially add more to my shorts. Uh, when when we do get a balance because we you know this is the way i see it we're we're here we hit like one of my first little levels uh that i kind of expected us to get to my timing signal flipped here it, it basically the the, the 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 day of the elections so it was a risky trade i took it i sent an email out to my free newsletter subscribers uh and it turned out to be a pretty fabulous call and i think the fact that we broke down through october lows i think this is going to go much lower uh, i don't have a projection i don't know how far we're going to go down the you know the last time my my long term timing signal went bearish was in mid april uh, we got a little upside and then we just collapsed and basically so the my my timing signal was bearish for you know the better part of two and a half months uh does that mean that's going to happen this time i don't know but i know that i wouldn't expect this to just turn right around and go back up uh, i think we're gonna you know at best be maybe sideways to down or maybe we're just gonna go straight down i, I don't know uh got a lot of charts here so I'm running already running behind the four day moving average isn't below the lower calendar channel so we have more downside I it's when we get down there then we can start thinking okay maybe start to take some profits that could happen tomorrow if we get if we get another uh, selling you know day like we had today um, and when I you know take some profits on the short side I don't know I don't think I'm gonna trim what I have I'm short the EWC the Canadian ETF and I'm I'm short the the Q's. Uh, I, I had this chart. I had this line designated. So we are, you know, this has been in the past. I don't really know how strong of a line this is. A long support line. You know, we we slice right through the 200 day moving average. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. Until we start to get some really downside heavy pressure days, uh, like here. Well. I mean, you can see we haven't even gone above this this line, uh, and it's same thing with here in the S and P. I mean, until we get some really big selling pressures, I wouldn't even be thinking that you know there's enough fear in the markets to really to realistically think this markets are going to turn around. Um, put call, it's not even in what I would consider the high put put buying range. You know, we're we're kind of above somewhat complacent i guess is the best way you can you could describe it you know basically the starting to get in the fear range and and from here to up here it doesn't take that long uh to to really transpire because once fear really starts to kick in then it happens really fast and you can see here the vix we're not even like these green lines is what i would deem a good fear level now with that being said from this green level uh, you know you can really start to see some exaggerated moves so you can see that we've got a lot we you know there's a lot of room to really go uh and the vix was actually down today which is crazy to think about it the volatility uh, and then you know volatility was not higher uh, and this is the VIX with the VIX removed in 10 day um, EMA. This is, and you can see here that we're, we're, right around, we're right at what I've deemed as normal volatility. So we have a lot more room that could potentially go. So I would not be jumping on a bunch of long positions right now.